Hello everyone, I'm McCheese87, and this is Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Solo Eevee Run slash Espeon Run Part 7, I think. Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this last part. I was gonna, I said I was gonna meet you back in Olivine, but I lied. We had to talk to this dude to actually get the potion. I'm so dumb sometimes. Is something worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble? I got it. This ought to do the trick. Cheesy receive the secret potion. Cool, cool story, bro. Cheesy put the secret potion in the key pocket. My secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. Well, can we just use, like, I don't know, a max revive or something? Wouldn't that do the same thing, I would think? Olivan City. Okay, so now let's just go up to this tower we have here. Yes, yes, tower, tower. Uh, well, if I can actually... Um, I'll just meet y'all at the top. Okay, so now that we're at the top, guys, let's go talk to Jasmine. W will that medicine cure Amphi? No, no, it's not. Cheesy handed the secret potion to Jasmine. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? Yeah, that. It was actually a really cool scene in the, uh, the remake or whatever with Ampharos. Um, that's one of the cooler things they added in that game with some of the uh, special scenes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I will return to the gym. Okay. Cool story, bro. Get out. Now, let's take our super fast, awesome elevator of awesomeness. I love that so much. Just how fast you can go down this place. So now, we're going to try and fight one of the hardest fights that's going to be in this playthrough. It's Jasmine, from, from what I remembered of my practice run a few months ago. It's not that she's hard, it's that she wears you down to the point that when you get to her last Pokemon, it's just, you have to get super lucky to actually be at enough HP to kill it. At least with this Espeon, so yeah, let's make a save state, and there's no trainers in this gym, which is really like, really? Like, no trainers at all? Seems kind of lazy to me. Thank you for your help, the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that only was recently discovered. Um, may I begin? And that's Jasmine, and uh, I'm not a fan of her, just because her team, she has two Magnemites and a Steelix. Like, that's her team. I mean, eh. Level 30, which is nice. I mean, I think that's actually a pretty good level. I don't know about the 6 gym leader. I think it should be higher, but compared to the rest of the game, it's fairly decent. Mud slaps for the win! Okay, so that did okay. And it's gonna use Thunder Wave. That's that's the only thing our two Magnemites will use. The first one will use will spam Thunder Wave, the second one will spam Supersonic. So by the time you get to our last Pokemon that can actually, you know, hurt you, you're gonna be parafusioned, and it's just it's almost impossible, because it'll one shot you pretty much with it if it hits. So it's just a pain in the dick. I've pretty much already lost, I can tell, just because I'm paralyzed. Yeah. So this is Steelix. Steelix is a pain in the dick. We're just gonna have to... Get... Iron Tail already has a low accuracy though, so if we use Mud Slap in conjunction with that, we might be able to get it to the point where it'll barely ever hit. Okay, I think I want to try to get three, maybe four Mud Slaps off. We can take one Mud Slap, I mean one Iron Tail. Fuck. Shit, and we're fully paralyzed. Come on. See, that's what I mean. I hate that she fully paralyzes you in that first turn. 
That doesn't one shot. Pretty much, if you paralyze you, you can already admit defeat. Oh, it uses Thunderbolt that time. Fuck. Okay, so now we have to make through this dude without getting paralyzed. Which, okay. So, we're at a position where we're not paralyzed. We can take one Iron Tail. We're good. But it hits both of them in a row. Okay. That's, uh, that's cool. Um... Go ahead and admit defeat. This isn't going to be a fun fight. And it's not even like I'm under leveled or anything. It's just the fact that it's completely 100% luck. Like, whether or not his iron tail hits. Like, okay. I'll try another one. He's at what? We used like two mud slaps for each or something like that, didn't we? So like four. So he's at minus four and plus it already has a 75% accuracy. There is no way in hell he should he should ever hit this next this iron tail. Of fucking course he does. Motherfucker. That pisses me the fuck off. If I get paralyzed, go ahead and reload the save state. Okay, so we got lucky again. And it crits, really? It was at minus six! Or minus five! How in the hell does it hit? How? That, do that doesn't even make sense. God damn it. This fight is pissing me the fuck off. I'm mean, gonna try not to get angry, but fuck. There's nothing I can do here. It's just she's annoying as bitch. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Like, use an attacking move, fuck. Like, it's not even like she's hard, like, this game isn't a hard game. I mean, but... I probably should have picked a better Pokemon for this gen. I really, I, mean, I just didn't think Jasmine, if anyone, would be hard fight, though. It actually really surprised me. Okay. Now, I just don't know what to do with her Steelix because it just seems like Mud Slap doesn't affect it. Cause see, it's still he hit three times in a row. I couldn't hit hit that with like three times in a row normally. Okay, now we've gotten really lucky, and we've... Fuck! It wasn't even the red! Uh... Okay, so unless it gets a crit, we should still be able to kill it. It's gonna live with like one little like tiny dot of HP. Yep. And it's gonna use Screech. Oh, it didn't heal? What? Why didn't she heal? She has two hyper potions. Okay, well I guess she can be a dumb bitch if she wants to. Eh, she deserved it. She's a piece of shit. I hate her. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. Just give me the fucking. No, it doesn't. Don't lie. It doesn't raise your defense. Uh, well, at least we do need this move that she gives us to beat Karen, so... In a way, 
Yeah, this Iron Tail is the only way we're gonna be able to beat a certain trainer, I think. I'm not gonna teach it to her, teach it to a uh, Espeon now, but later I will. I'm gonna keep Mud Slap on it for now, but when we get to Karen, I'm probably gonna teach it Iron Tail. Okay, so now that that's done, what do we need to do? We need to go to a uh, the seventh gym. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm a lot less angry now. That fight just that just got on my nerves, man. But yeah, let's go ahead and fly to. Where is it again? Is it in Ecruti? I'm trying to think. I think it's from Ecruti, right? I believe so. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's here. Let's just surf on over. I probably should have healed. Oh, well, it's not like this area's. Who wants to use cut? Yeah, sure. Here's Suiacoon! And Suiacoon just runs away. <laughs> oh, it's a pink apricorn. I don't. Uh, apricorns, yay! Woo! Go team! Apricorns are so useful. So cool. Bring it, dude, with the quill fish. Level 18. Phew, I mean these these trainers here are really high level. 16. 16? Oh my god. Whatever game. What the fuck ever. Got them high level Pokemon. Uh that's one thing I hate. Like, random trainers, even some of the gym leaders, just their Pokemon. Jasmine's Pokemon are actually fairly decent level compared to the last one. But, they're just so low level. Like, God. But, yeah. Um, what are we at? Okay, so we're at, what, like, nine minutes, I think? It's, yeah, so... What we'll do now is hopefully I was gonna say something. Yeah, we wanna head up this way. I'm just gonna take the short well, never mind. Cause someone wants to be like, I got a sand true, bitch. Okay, you're you're really cool. Sand trues and, and, and the sand slash and a zubat, never seen those before. And this then Team Rocket's gonna be like, hold it there, the toll is a thousand dollars, but this is an idleness run, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, you have what, a slow bro? Get get out get out. Just get out. The Lake of Rage, it's so very cool. And here's a red gear dose shiny. Look at it. Look at it. Embrace its shininess. Embrace it. Embrace it. Okay. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here? Because of the rumors? You're cheesy. I'm Lance. A trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Cheesy. I can tell you that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Yeah, sure. Excellent. It seems the lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from the Mahogany, well, from, from Mahogany, is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Cheesy. Okay, and he can fly, apparently. I didn't know you could use escape ropes out in the open, but, uh, whatever. Maybe he's teleport, maybe he's an Abra. Maybe he's a psychic trainer, I really don't know. Yeah, 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 thousand dollars, whatever, it's quicker. Yep, but now, oh yeah, we can't go to the gym yet because this fat ass dude's in here. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out the Lake of Rage right now. Yeah, well maybe you should move your fat ass, bitch. 
If I don't want to fucking go to the Lake Rage, I really don't. This is like the stupidest. This part right here, this is my most hated part of this whole game. It's just so stupid. I like this scene, but this upcoming dungeon, I hate it so much. It's just, what is the purpose of it? Because literally the trainers you fight here, they all have the same Pokemon, and they're so ridiculous. Ridiculously low level. Even if you, even if you are under leveled, you're still going to be, you know, much higher level than these guys. It's ridiculous. Like, like I'll just show you this first fight. I'm going to need the episode here in a second. But hey, intruder alert! It's more Team Rocket guys, and they already used generic Pokemon in the first place. Oh, drowsy! Never seen that before. I wonder what level it is. 17. Everything in this dungeon. Is like level 17 to 18 so you don't even get good experience so it's not even like it's a meaningless dungeon that you know at least it'll give you good experience like Silphco or whatever this is just a completely useless dungeon that you don't even get good experience even if you are you know doing a normal playthrough where you're not extremely over leveled like I am but still uh, like 16 if you can't be level 16 Pokemon by now it's just ridiculous. But yeah, I'm gonna do this rocket hideout next time because I don't know, just not, I've gotta take a break. And yeah, so next time guys, we will be doing the rocket hideout and the seventh gym. I'm McShees87 and stay tuned for the next part. Bye guys.